Well, I apologize for last week. Um, and every once in a while, the uh, technology bug comes up and bites me in a way that is uh, harmful. <laughs> I was transferring the, my completed videos for last week to another computer so I can upload them via a, a, a portable hard drive. And after I transfer them to the portable hard drive, at least that's what I thought because that's what it indicated, I took the portable hard drive to the computer I wanted to utilize to upload and they weren't there anymore. So that's why you didn't see anything and I apologize. Um, if any of my videos have helped you determine to go with Maverick Transportation as a company to drive for, I would appreciate it if you'd use my name as a referral. This video is just a quick video on the uh, auto shift uh, capabilities of the Freightliner Cascadia uh, that I utilize at Maverick Transportation. Some individuals had some questions about uh, if I drive a stick or not, or an automatic. Well, it's called the uh, auto shift. And it's very much like a paddle shifter for high end cars. So if I want to, I can put it in manual mode and drive around like I'm uh, shifting. So if I need to go down a gear, I just push on it. If I need to come up a gear, I lift up on it. So it's just like a paddle shifter. Um, in order to go from neutral to drive, I'm parked right now and the engine's off. Um, if I do not step on the brake pedal, um, it will not, I can't just flip it into gear and go. You have to step on the brake pedal in order to allow this to shift into uh, either drive, low, or reverse. Um, there's a lot of people that I hear that, uh, I'm trying to get my fingers out of the way. Oh, there it, it was my hand. Um, that drive around in manual mode and to say that they, they shift manually uh, every time they drive and that's because that's their preference and there's nothing I don't think there's anything wrong with that I don't think it's bad for the transmission or anything um, they just put it in drive and then select the starting gear they want to start out with and, and go and then shift when they want to shift uh, I tend to drive around in automatic mode because I, I like it to shift for me it's more I think the uh, transmission and the computer programming that went into it, it probably is the optimum for shifting uh, at the appropriate values for uh, best fuel mileage. Um, now, there's some things to understand. When you're in drive and I'm going up a hill, the transmission will sense when my speed slows down and my RPM drops and it will automatically shift to a lower gear while I'm going uphill. On level ground, when I slow down, you know, I'm stepping on the, the brake to slow down a little bit. If it senses that it needs to be in a lower gear due to the speed um, that I'm traveling at, it will automatically downshift to the appropriate gear. So when I apply the throttle, it will be in the, a more correct gear um, for that particular speed. Um, the one thing that it doesn't do when traveling downhill at a steep grade where your truck may want to travel faster than you're wanting it to <laughs> this will not automatically downshift um, even though you you are stepping on the brake in the sense that uh, if you're slowing down five miles an hour it's not going to downshift while going downhill necessarily you will need to make sure you're below 1500 rpm and then give it a push and it will downshift one gear you have your Jake brakes applied, and that'll you can this you'll feel that, and it'll help slow you down. Um, when going down steep grades, uh, when you're prepared beforehand, um, you can select the uh, keep it in manual mode, and select the appropriate gear you want to travel in while going downhill with your Jake brake on, and uh, it will maintain that gear all the way down, and. Uh, but that doesn't mean you don't have to uh, watch out with your for your speed and utilize your brakes effectively. But this is just about the transmission. So again, manual, automatic, downshift, upshift, downshift. And that's it. So it's uh, I like it a lot. 
Um, I haven't had any problems with uh, the transmissions. Uh, I've had two trucks. Uh, this is a much newer truck, but they're, they look identical. And I didn't have any problems with its transmission or shifting, and I did. I don't have any problems with this transmission or shifting. So hopefully this answers everybody's questions concerning whether or not Maverick vehicles are automatic, and they all are. There are no standard transmissions in the fleet of Maverick's fleet that I know of. Um, there may be one or two that they utilize at a shop to pull around trailers. That could be, but as far as the commercial pulling of uh, uh, shipped goods, whether they be coils or temperature control or specialized um, flatbed, um, they use uh, uh, Freightliner Cascadias with these automatic smart shift transmissions. So just thought I'd do a video on that for you. Have a good day.